Cheers. Good morning. Today, I'm going to be walking you through exactly what I eat in a day to get scared. Anyway, starting off strong today, we are having protein oats. I usually switch between this and cream of rice. My favourite day is when I have my porridge. I love porridge. I'm a whole for porridge. What I do for my porridge is very basic. I literally just do 50 grams of oats and I will make a little protein sludge and then I'll mix that in my oats. All you do is add protein powder and water or milk if you actually care about what your food tastes like. I'm literally just going to add water to this. I'm also going to add a little bit of sweetener. I love the sweetener. It's the only sweetener that doesn't make me shit my pants. And I'm just going to literally keep adding water until it's sludge. Hence the name protein sludge. It is literally sludge. Imagine that fat. Oh my god. Also, something else I've been doing recently is putting my... I always have blueberries with like my breakfast. And what I've been doing is putting it in the air fryer for a few minutes. And they go like jam. Yeah, they go like jam. Life changing. Life changing. All you do is stick it in the air fryer. I usually do like five minutes at 150 Celsius. And it's so while my blueberries are doing their thing, I am gonna add my sludge to my porridge because it's now cooking. Why I do sludge is I don't know about you, but if you've ever added protein powder like straight to your oats, grainy, disgusting, like you're eating sand. But when you sludge the protein powder first, it just makes it so much better. Highly recommend if you've never done it before. Hey Queen. Hello there. Everyone say hi to my mum. I want you to get a real sensation of this texture. That's perfect. That is... See what that tastes like? Perfect. This is meal number one. Oh, look at her. She is so beautiful. She's stunning. I just put blueberries. I put my 85% dark chocolate and also some brown sugar sweetener. Sorry, I had to go get a jump on because it's absolutely freezing. It's July in Scotland and it's freezing. Fully coated up. More face on cold when you go outside. I I get so excited when I eat this, I swear to god. If I can eat one thing for the rest of my life, porridge. Protein porridge. Plain porridge? Mm mm. Protein porridge. Also, do you guys like my little spoon? It's actually a egg spoon. Like I look forward to this every single day and I eat it every day. That's how good it is. But anyways, I'm gonna eat this and then I will see you in a few hours for meal number two. It's currently 11 and I am absolutely starving. I'm starving. So I'm gonna have, I was gonna say I'm gonna make meal number two, but I'm not. It's actually meal prepped. And it is a very original meal that I've not had yet today. I lied, it's oats. <laughs> Got me. Yes, I literally ate oats like two hours ago, three hours ago, and yes, I'm eating them again. I did tell you they were my favourite food, right? I made this yesterday. It's exactly how I made it this morning, but 30 grams of oats instead of 50. And I'm going to put some brown sugar sweetener on that. And I'm also going to have coffee because... Mama needs her coffee. So I'm going to have that. And I shall see you for meal number three. Damn, this bitch could eat. I feel like I'd be doing you guys a disservice if I didn't actually do a taste test. Mmm, I've not had this in so long. Yep. Mm -mm -mm. The flavors are really tingling on my tongue. <laughs> I don't think that's the right thing. It's now time for lunch or meal three. I can't decide. I was really torn between having a tuna salad or a chicken salad. But I think I'm gonna have chicken. Hopefully there's pre cooked chicken because the thought of having to cook chicken right now, touch chicken and look at raw chicken and smell raw chicken. No thanks. So I literally have everything already prepped. I just need to put it on a plate, which thank the Lord for that, by the way, because my mental capacity for performing basic tasks right now, pretty low. I think I'm actually gonna stick this in the air fryer. I enjoy having my chicken overcooked, dry. For some reason it just, when I overcook my chicken and when I make it so dry that it's literally not even recognizable as chicken anymore, it kind of tastes like a chicken nugget. Stupid, I'm not gonna let you get the chance. I've just realized some things just shouldn't be said out loud. I'm gonna cook this, I'm gonna pop this in the air fryer, cook it up for a bit, plate out my salad, and show you 
what I'm gonna eat. While I am cremating my chicken, I'm actually gonna add some condiments to my salad. First things first, we have red wine vinegar, the unsung hero of making the salad taste good. Just drown it. Stunning. She is my one lifeline. Also gonna add some garlic. The goal with the garlic is to put so much on that people can smell you before they see you. Oh, that's fine. I'm also gonna add some Tabasco Sriracha. I prefer regular Sriracha, like the Flying Goose brand, but it is expensive. The only place I can buy it is on Amazon. I think it's like 12 pounds for two bottles. In this economy, girl, I, I can't afford it. It's kind of got that like, you know, like citrusy hot sauce. I don't like that. I like garlic. Okay, my chicken is sufficiently... <laughs> Sound check. <sighs> Never mind. Oh my god. I was going to show you guys the crunch of it, but that is legitimately like molten lava in my mouth. Hopefully we didn't lose any soldiers during that. I'm going to add some curry salt. I love curry salt. It actually does have calories in it, but... I still want to enjoy my life, so I'm just going to add a little bit. <laughs> She looks absolutely stunning. She's stunning. Maybe a bit more hot sauce. Oh. Hey, that'll do it, lad. The goal is to make it taste like everything apart from the ingredients. So not chicken, not salad, but salt and garlic. Oh, look at her. Look at her. That actually looks pretty good. No? Should we do it? I'll do a taste test for you guys because I know you whores love the taste test. That was so mean. I please accept my apology for that. That was well uncalled for. Ooh, isn't she so beautiful? I put way too much parasol on this, by the way. It literally just looks like a plate of parasol. <coughs> that was a lot of parasol. That tastes good though. <coughs> and to wash it down. The trusty two liter bottle of Pepsi Max. I don't care what you guys say. Pepsi Max is better than Diet Coke and Coke Zero. I'm willing to die on that hill. I'm gonna eat this and I will come back and see you for a meal. Bye. See you later. Guys, this is pretty rogue, but I just realized that I haven't had enough healthy fat today. I just like went through my meals and I was like, ooh. So I'm just gonna have a bit of peanut butter just now, 20 grams. I'm gonna mix that with a bit of sweetener. Trust me, tastes so good. This in your peanut butter with a little bit of salt. This is a little snack, and then I will have my next meal. <sighs> Mom, what time is it? Uh, tea time. It's time for meal number six. Twenty. We're having tuna pasta. I was planning to have chicken, potatoes, and an egg for dinner tonight, but I decided I don't have the brain cells to cook that meal. So tuna pasta it is, and you know what? Tuna pasta is a classic. You can't go wrong. Oh, I just don't even have the energy. Right, fine, fine. First things first, I need a pan. Okay, first step, whey pasta. This is the best pasta. I don't care what anyone says, best shaped pasta of all time. Oh, I just, mm, I love it. Okay, whey pasta, check. Step two, salt pasta. Step three, kettle. I was doing a step-by-step -step process and I boiled the kettle and forgot. Next step, cook pasta. That is the most oversized pan I've ever seen in my life for that portion of pasta. I'm having this whole pack of it. When I was younger, I literally used to be hyper fixated on tuna and sweet corn pasta with a ridiculous amount of mayonnaise. I used to love that. Oh, that was my favorite meal. This is like my grown up girl dinner version of it. I haven't had mayonnaise in the longest time. I love mayonnaise. Do you know one thing I don't like though? Salad cream. If you tell me you like salad cream over mayonnaise, I am, so, we'll have to end this relationship because I just, I don't know if I can, I can get on that level. Now for the most important part, she is the moment. I like something very controversial. When I make tuna pasta, I literally don't really drain the tuna. I feel like, it, ah, adds more flavor. Is that a thing? I feel like that's probably a thing. So I'm not gonna drain her. I hate draining it like this because like pasta always starts flying off of the sink and then it tastes like sink and then you're basically eating sink for dinner. Okay, I'm just gonna add my, I actually might drain this a little bit. That's a shit ton. Okay. 
Jesus. Honestly, it would be me if I didn't make a ridiculous amount of noise. I'm actually gonna stick this back on the hob for a little bit because I like when my tuna goes like hot. So, oh, that smells so good. Also, I love how I just stuck that can in the sink because if I'm, it's a dish. If that doesn't tell you where I'm at right now, I don't know what will. Look at the size of this. Sorry, what? Big old heaping portion. Look at this. Taste test. Don't know what it is, but there's just a combination of tuna, carrot, sweet corn, crunch. Oh, it's just, it's too good. It's amazing. Fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna eat this, and I will come back for my final meal. Okay, so before I eat my final meal of the day, I kind of just wanted to talk about how I am actually eating more now and still losing weight. Basically, what I meant by that is I used to only ever eat three meals a day. Three meals a day and then maybe like a snack. I've switched it to now eating five meals a day and you guys might be thinking that's a lot of food, but the way I do it is I just have five lower calorie meals and I find that that keeps me full throughout the day. Because when you're dieting, you get hungry so easily. I don't know, well, I was gonna say I don't know of anyone else, but it's definitely a universal experience. You get so hungry. And to help avoid that hunger as much as possible, I find it so much easier to just eat fewer calorie, more meals. And that's obviously not gonna be sustainable for a lot of people. Like when I was at uni, five meals a day, it's crazy. But it's summertime right now, so I have, all I have is time on my hands. So five meals a day, it works for me. And I recommend it if you can do it. It makes you feel like you're actually eating a lot of food when you're like not. Do you know what I mean? I eat so much more food now, but I've just chose lower calorie options in higher volumes than say what I used to have before. And it is, it's a life changer. But yeah, I just thought I would share that little cutting hack with you guys because losing weight is hard and I am the type of bitch to try and make it as easy as humanly possible. And that's one thing that's really helped me. I will see you now for my final meal. And it is a goodie. It's a goodie. A little bit of a change in scenery, but for my final meal, <laughs> I'm literally just having the rest of this tub of skier, probably like 200 grams. And I have peanut butter in here. And yeah, hope you enjoyed today's video. Giving you a little insight into what I eat on a daily basis. This is pretty much what I eat every day. I am the type of bitch to eat the same thing every single day. It's like routine now, I'm like, yeah, don't need to think about it. Especially at this point where I'm like, brain capacity is like, not there. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you want to see next. And also thank you for all the love on my last video. That was my first video and I was so nervous to film it. See, when I was editing it back, I was like this whole time, I was like, ah! But yeah, thank you for the love and let me know what you want to see next. And yeah. Hopefully I will see you in the next one.